What is up guys, welcome back to the shop. Glad to have you guys here. Um, today we're gonna do a video kind of doing a tour of my work car. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. My first 1,000 subscribers that have commented on one of the last three videos, including this one, uh, are gonna be entered in a chance to win a Baco eight inch adjustable wide mouth wrench. So if you're interested in that, leave a comment and then be subscribed and you will be automatically entered and I'm just gonna pick somebody at random and I'm gonna send you a new wrench. So if you're interested in that, subscribe. Without further ado, let's hop into the video. So I wanted to do kind of an update video on uh, my work car. I have a 2019 Chevy Cruze. Um, this is provided to me by my employer and pretty much everything inside of it I have purchased. They're my own tools. Some of, very few of them, some of them though, have been company provided. Um, <clears throat> just kinda wanna show you guys how I load it out. I have probably the most, um, I'd say, organized version of this of all of my coworkers. A lot of guys have certain box setups and things. Some guys need less tools, some guys need more. Um, but from my experience, and since I'm not doing service work with this company anymore, I find that this is a pretty good setup for me and it's kind of constantly evolving but today probably will be a long video as I show you guys everything um, so sit down enjoy a good snack or something and let's dive into it so you guys have already seen a video on this bag I just did a video on it not that long ago this is my everyday carry bag it's a Milwaukee job site tool bag um, I'm not gonna go back through it all but I basically just have to keep a multimeter in here um, my primary tools I keep up front with this, with me, but I just have like a holster Joey pouch with a few uh, regular, just like side cutters. Um, I have a pair of Nipex twin grips. Um, Weha Centro Drive, I think it's called, just like a regular uh, driver handle, but I put a Malco bit on it. Um, I keep a Tecton. Uh, quarter inch drive swivel head ratchet with a 10 millimeter on it I don't want to dive into the whole bag but just a couple other tools in there I got like the Olight light on there just different things I'm gonna need every single day I keep a little bit of tape just in case and then in the back the most important part and uh, really what's important here is the laptop so I guess I should have done a better job explaining at the start of the video I do HVAC automation so Commercial buildings like schools, hospitals, um, big office buildings, stuff like that is kind of what we do. We um, basically send signals through controllers to uh, maintain certain temperatures and energy efficiency levels. So we you know, shut stuff back at night, just like you probably do at your house with your thermostat. We do night setbacks, and there's a lot of complicated sequencing to make sure things don't freeze up or whatever. I live in upstate New York, so we have to accommodate for all kinds of weather. Um, my dog is leaning on the tripod, so hopefully he doesn't knock it over. We'll just kind of work inward. Um, I have one of the M12... Uh, oh, Jesus. I lost the, the word for it. Shop vac, or wet dry vac. Um, these are pretty sweet. I just keep like a six amp hour battery in there. Um, comes with like a little slinky hose. Uh, it's got like a crevice tool and a wide pickup tool. Basically just use that to clean out our control panels when they have a bunch of uh, metal shavings from drilling like knockouts or just wire scraps, whatever. Um, so I just keep that in there for that reason. I might have to take you guys off the tripod because I'm thinking that I'm gonna have to get up close in some of this stuff, so. Just kind of setting stuff on the ground. Um, kind of the top of this, this is kind of the heart and soul is this Milwaukee pack out box. So the top, I just have a couple of these slim organizers. This one I just keep uh, like zip screws, castle nuts and some wire bush or uh, knockout bushings, some tap cons, just little things I might need to do little quick installs. But for the most part, my company uh, subcontracts out the installs, so I don't really do a whole lot of that, but if something needs to get fixed or touched up, I take care of that. I honestly forgot that this was sitting here. These are just little uh, resistors with um, heat shrink on them, 250 ohm resistors. Uh, so I gotta find a home for that, but then I just keep some various electrical stuff, mostly just wire nuts and then some uh, fork connectors and stake on type stuff. 
So nothing super exciting there, um, but those fit in nicely. They kind of fit just perfectly and they don't stick out too far that they poke the glass when I close the hatch. Um, top drawer is mostly the tools, extra tools. So this is the only thing I really reach in here and grab a lot because I used to carry this in my backpack, my M12 Impact, but it got to be too heavy. So I decided to stop doing that, but I do keep that in there. Um, zip tie gun, headlamp, Olight headlamp. Uh, just a bunch of random tools that I might need but don't normally need, so like fuse pullers, um, like the snips. Something I grab out of here a lot is the linesman's players, but I don't ever really need them enough to carry them in my bag, but they work great for doing demo of old stuff. Um, one of these is really cool. I don't know if you guys have seen these before. Uh, Skill makes this. It's a, it's a four volt. Uh, electric screwdriver and it seems like it's dead but you twist the collar and it'll turn the end which is perfect for me and this little button uh, you hold that down and this becomes a non-contact non-contact voltage detector which is really cool so um, that's that I would recommend picking one of these up if you're doing a lot of little control type or small types of electrical screws and stuff like that they're pretty handy or doing like cover plates for electrical boxes I use that for that too um, just more assortment of tools. I got a nice pair of Klein dikes in here. Side cutters. I probably shouldn't say that word anymore. Um, some insulated screwdrivers, some random flatheads, a couple extra multi-bits, um, multi-bit screwdrivers. It's having trouble focusing, I think because of the light, but, um, I just got a floodlight. One of those M12 Rover lights that I like, or what are they called? I think it says it on it somewhere, but one of those lights just lighting up the scene here for us. Um, there we go. Second drawer, it's kind of my test equipment, electrical stuff. So this is my network bag. This has like a um, Cat6 uh, cable tester, basically. Um, my better multimeter, but I don't really use it anymore because it's so much bigger. Um, it's a Fluke. 77 I keep my wire labeler in here use that to label sensor boxes or actual wires um, whatever this is a uh, circuit tracer or wire tracer so you hook it on and basically can find a wire which a wire is I never use that I don't do service work anymore so I never really need it our installers are all pretty good they label their wires and I know what it is from one end to the other um, and then I have a blimo valve tool for changing MFT actuators. If you know, you know, and if you don't, I'm not gonna explain it in this video. Um, down here, got some just random bits, assortment of bits and things, a little DeWalt tape measure, a lot of extra electrical tape, more um, labels for the label maker, just some, just a wire brush, a pick. You never know what you might need to clean off. Um, right here, this is the temperature gauge for my fluke meter. I think my meter is a 23 or 223 or 324 something like that but the clamp amp clamp meter has like an attachment that you can do temperature had to buy this to fill some holes that a commissioning agent didn't like that we put in the wall um, extra zip ties allen keys you know little uh, sawzall handle sawzall blade handle so that's that for the box the rolling drawer and that all kind of locks up nice. If you guys don't know about these too much, these pack out boxes have this lock bar. I found that I drive this car around and never need that. So I just leave it down so I can even faster access everything. Uh, moving down, sorry, this video is gonna be a long one, guys. Um, moving down, I just keep an extra bag. This came with my, uh, f I believe, finish nailer. I just keep this for whenever I need to carry stuff. It's a perfect bag to just throw stuff in. You know, if I need to grab a bunch of tools or a bunch of parts, I just grab this and it's my little tote bag to carry stuff in. But other than that, I keep it empty so that it can slide under there. Um, so we'll set that aside. I have this little bungee strap. So I made this whole like raised thing just to make the use of the space or the most of the space. And I actually kind of ran these two by fours in so that they would end up catching on this 
back plastic here, which keeps this from tipping over if I brake hard. There's no way that that's gonna tip over back towards me. Um, it just works out really nicely. So I have this bungee strap here. I have one of these pack out boxes. I never get into this box. I do not think I've opened this once on a job site since I've started working back at this company again. Um, but I keep the Makita impact sockets, just a big adjustable wrench, little pry bar, um, dead blow. You never know what you might end up having to beat on. Um, sorry, it's kind of awkward to work with one hand. This I want to talk about though. Um, this is the Tecton, see if that balances there. The Tecton 3 8 uh, drive socket set, and this is the small one. I know there's two different ones. I, ha I own both of them and I use both of them a lot. But this socket set, well, obviously it doesn't look very used. This is perfect for tradesmen. Um, if you look at the sizes, they're kind of just all those standard sizes that you will see. Here's your metric. It goes 8 to 19 millimeter and then 5 sixteenths up until 3 quarter. It's really pretty handy. If you want to have the bigger box or you got space for the bigger box, go for it. But that is pretty perfect for me. Ooh, that almost ended very badly. I'm sure everybody watching at home just saw that and was like, ooh, I'm glad that's not me. Um, and then there's something else in here I wanted to show you guys just because I saw it and it made me think. Uh, this extendable, this is very difficult to do with one hand, extendable uh, ratchet. It's got a quarter inch drive on one side, three eighths inch drive on the other side and it gives you a big reach. You can buy this at Harbor Freight for like less than $15, I think. And I own three of these because they're super handy. This is what I change the oil on my car with. Um, not this specific one, but another one of these, just because you can get that leverage and then, you know, I, it's just super handy. Um, and this kind of can act as a breaker bar because if you bust it, you can go get it replaced for free. Um, so there's a little tool tip. Uh, Pittsburgh extendable ratchet. So I put this box back in here, close that up, probably never to be seen again. Um, we'll just leave that there. I can put this all back after the video so we can keep moving here. This is pretty sweet. I'm going to put you guys back on the tripod. Say hello to my dog, Maverick. Um, this is pretty sweet. This little guy right here, if you don't know what it is, I'll show you guys. Uh, this is a stool, collapsible stool. I should do an individual video on this because this is really sweet. And basically, that can hold up to 400 pounds, I believe. Um, and it's just like that. It's like a normal height stool. It's a little taller than a bucket, which is perfect. And then this is kind of a nice cushion. So you can spend an extra $5 and you get this little cushion thing, which makes a difference if you're like me and end up having to work on your computer for a big chunk of the day and you want something comfortable, this works really nice. So I always have to find like little mechanical rooms or somewhere to kind of hide and sit um, so I can get computer work done and I end up using like a cardboard box as a desk and this is my seat. So uh, that's a pretty big tip. That's pretty lightweight. You could use it for a lot of different things. I can actually throw it inside the front pouch of my backpack, but it does have a little carry handle. And you just carry that around and you got a stool. So. Highly recommend that. I go check it out. Um, if somebody comments interested in it down below, I will leave a link to it to help you out. Um, so that's that. We're almost done with the back here. I have this pack out box, which is kind of a pain in the butt to get to. I don't really have to get to it very often, but um, in here is just kind of, I kind of consider this my install kit. Very rare do I have to install stuff. I keep one of these little grabber things. This is really handy for uh, fishing into a wall. Sorry about the focus here, guys. I don't know what's going on. Thought we had our focus problems figured out, but I guess not. Um, let me shut this light off and see if that helps. We're just learning together here. Um, goodness. Apparently it's not gonna autofocus. There we go. The little grabber claw, so if you're fishing in a wall, you can stick this up and grab onto whatever it is you're trying to get. Um, super handy, I think this is 24 inches long if I'm not mistaken. So I really like that. Um, 
I don't know, I guess you got a bunch of random drill bits, a little mini fish tape, hammer drill, level, um, Makita bit set. These are another thing that I think tradesmen should be more keen to having in their box, just these little magnetic trays. Um, I think this is kind of seems like it's just an automotive thing, but it's really not. It doesn't need to be. This can be set on top of your ladder and you can leave a bunch of screws in there when you're working on something or taking something apart. I highly recommend that. So I just did a box on these, or I just did a video on these ammo cans. You guys know I like them. So oh, let's put that thing back in there. I also see a sheetrock jab saw in there. I don't know. I got a whole bunch of just random stuff. I want to keep this video short, so, or not too long, I should say. It's already running 15, 16 minutes. But. So there's that box. I got two more little boxes here. Um, this one, unless you are in the exact trade and job I'm in, this won't really be anything important. But I, this kind of goes to show I really like building kits. So this is uh, what we call an Infolink. This connects all of our MSTP controllers um, and over control stuff. But I basically just have a temporary power set up for this, and this all is to do with our new conversions from our old um, vintage to our new uh, control system that we're putting in. So <clears throat> this just kind of lives in here whenever I need to do a conversion. I grab that for doing that. And then I just got my little kit of things. So this little Home Depot Husky box is pretty handy for that. It's two-sided. Um, so I just on this side I got like brass fittings, pieces of air hose, little zip ties. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for that side. And then I just got an assortment of fuses, um, jumper pins for our terminal strips, these little suppressions that help with controllers not blown up, um, butt splices, dolphin connectors, and then just like terminal buses, just extras in case something got lost or damaged. So that is that for the back of the car. Let's wheel on up towards the front um, and try to button this video up. So I did tape up to cover the company logos and things, but we do keep two ladders on the vehicle, a six foot and an eight foot step ladder. We have these Rhino racks, um, kind of clamp on roof racks. And it kind of seems goofy with a Chevy Cruze with an eight foot ladder on it. I'll be honest with you. But if you're around upstate New York, you probably will recognize this vehicle. You've probably seen them before. There's quite a few of us uh, roaming around. Inside here, I just keep an extra jacket. Um, I really like these. These you can get at Cabela's or Bass Pro Shop. It's a redhead brand. It's like a soft shell. I got a curious dog here. Um, it's like a soft shell with a fleece lining inside it. So that's just an extra jacket. I wear a Carhartt jacket pretty much, or sweatshirt pretty much every day. So I throw that on over top um, <clears throat> if I'm going to be on a roof for a really long time. Uh, a couple other little things. Uh, this is just like an extra little Wi-Fi access point that I use. An extra switch, some WD-40. Um, I keep like these waterproof muck style boots just for going on the roof. Extra thing of wiper fluid, if you guys know and have road salt in your area, you know that you need to keep wiper fluid with you. Um, <clears throat> just if you run out and you're driving on the highway, it's a real problem. Uh, I keep strapped to the back of the seats. Um, so I keep the seats down in case that wasn't obvious. These rear seats are just folded down um, and the headrests are off. But I keep that service cart that we did a video on a little while ago that folds up. So this kind of opens up into a rolling cart. <coughs> Just a bundle of wire, MSTP wire. <coughs> this, <coughs> I just keep, uh, normally I keep a hat in here too, just a pair of straps just in case something goes wrong with the roof rack. And then just a pair of these neoprene uh, <coughs> cold weather gloves, cold neck gloves. And we'll go up to the cockpit just for good measure. Keep some extra deodorant, big recommendation. Keep extra deodorant, extra iPhone charger. Um, these are my spare AirPods. These I just found when I was cleaning under the seat, but <coughs> keep an extra set of wipes for your hands. Sorry, I got something in my throat. <coughs> Sorry, I do not feel like cutting and editing this video, so we're just doing a one take here. Um, keep a little picture of my dog when he was a puppy in there. Um, an extra baseball hat just in case you need something. I guess I could sit down and show you around. Pair of sunglasses, 
extra couple pair of sunglasses not something I want to be without um, when I am driving so I keep those uh, let's see just a kind of cup holder adapter thing that can hold a 32 ounce Nalgene I always have a bunch of bottled water I keep one of these pack out crates here um, I just emptied it out but typically it would have like empty water bottles in it uh, <clears throat> you know as I drink them I just toss them in there and it's got some forks in there, plastic forks just that I use for lunch. It's where I keep my cooler, all my badges. I don't want to show them too much, but all my badges for different spots I go into. Um, this is my everyday carry pouch for tools, so I just keep a multi-bit screwdriver, the uh, Weha 3.0 millimeter flathead, a pair of wire strippers. Um, <clears throat> i got some weird problem going on where this, even if I replace the fuse, does not work. So I'm not sure what's going on. I have power on one side of it. Cannot get power through the other side. Uh, so I keep a little charger, uh, which is a portable power pack with an extra iPhone cord and a charger for my watch. Got a Garmin Phoenix 5. Um, and then I have Apple CarPlay, so all of that's super handy. Ooh, I'm just showing you how dirty a work car is here. I'm exposing myself. Um, <clears throat> something else that's really cool and if you are in cold climate you should look up one of these uh, you hold this down it's flashing a little bit but you can turn up one two three and that is a heat intensity so this is actually an electric hand warmer and it can actually charge your phone use it as a battery pack I found these because of hunting and now I use them a lot when I'm doing roof work super handy just throw it in the coat pocket and stick your hands in there and it's this thing gets hot like too hot to want to touch so I would recommend that oh what am I forgetting up here I'm sure there's something the only other thing I can think of and this might seem a little goofy to some of you guys but I keep this little old uh, camera case under the seat and in there I keep dental picks and disposable toothbrushes and it's super handy just if you rush out the door, forget to brush your teeth or something, or just eat a nasty lunch and you want to clean yourself up after it, super handy to have that. Um, on the other side, I just caught my eye. I do have some fish sticks and an umbrella. When you're working on the roof in the rain with a laptop, you kind of need an umbrella. Um, and you can see over there, I just got some Cat6 patch cables and some random just key fob stuff. But that's the video. Thanks for watching. Sorry it was so long. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Please consider subscribing too, please.